Today, I'm bringing you along in a day in the life of a stay-at-home mom of two. Hey there, good morning you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. I allowed myself to sleep in a little bit today. It's now 7.40, but I have like, you know, gotten up, gotten dressed, made my bed. I am gonna go to the kitchen right now and grab like a protein shake and cook up like one little scrambled egg for me. I have been trying to do a new like diet so I'll tell you guys more about that. I think it's working, so there's there's hope. <laughs> um, but I have to go consume like my 30 grams of protein. I just heard like the kids are awake and Jack was playing in his room, but I just heard Aubrey go in his room. So that means that my day is starting very quickly. And uh, I think what we're gonna do is start off our day with a morning walk because the kids sit down anyways. I like, that's when I give them their breakfast. So I gotta go get that ready too, so. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and check back in soon. Okay, so my protein meal has been consumed. I got the snacks ready for the walk. The kids are still playing in Jack's room, which I'm very thankful for the stage where for the most part they can play together nicely and I can get kind of stuff done around the house. Outside is a different story because Jack is, it's like, I just worry he's gonna get hurt too much because he climbs up on the slope and stuff. So. I'm, I'm thankful that while we are inside, I don't have to be as like helicoptery as I have to be in other areas. But now that I've gotten all that ready, I'm gonna put this stuff in the stroller, kind of like make sure the stroller's all ready to go and get the kids ready and then we'll be on our walk. Who wants vitamins? Me. Me. <laughs> okay. All right, we just got home from our walk. It was a little misty at the beginning, like where it almost was like on the verge of a light sprinkle. So my shirt's a little wet, so I'm gonna go get changed. And then let's see, how far did I go? We walked an hour and eight minutes. I went 2.9 miles and my average heart rate was like 133, which is what I want. I really like to keep it like under 130 based on the diet that I'm doing, and I'll share more about that later, but overall pretty good exercise for this morning. So I'm gonna go get changed, figure out what we're gonna do. I do need to pick up some things I think from Costco, so we might do a little Costco run, which really wasn't planning on it, but I think it needs to be done, and there's enough time before Jack's nap for us to do that, so. That'll probably be what we do next. Let me go take care of some things and I'll check back in a bit. Okay, it has been a little while since I checked in. 
I ended up showering because I felt kind of icky. So I showered and then we headed on over to Costco. And not only did we do like just the initial shopping that we needed to get done, it wasn't that much. And I'll show you guys a little haul in a second. But I wanted to make sure that our like membership was on renewal and we waited in this line that like was taking forever. I was thankful that my kids weren't totally disruptive. And then while we were there, I also saw that something was on sale that I had purchased within the last like 30 days. And I didn't have my receipt with me, but I figured I would ask like the returns desk if I could get the money back, like if it's $7 off, if I can get that back on my card. And thankfully, without even having my receipt, they were able to kind of pull it up and confirm that I purchased that item and they refunded the $7. So that saved me a trip because it is a little bit of a drive to get to Costco from where we are, but I'm thankful that I was able to check that all off even though I was a bit stressed and anxious with my kids inside the store. And then after we went to Costco, we ended up going through the drive-through at Duncan because today, we got like a free donut or something uh, with the purchase of a drink. So I got my caramel iced coffee and picked up some free munchkins cause I had some points. So the kids got like a munchkin, but now they're snacking on some dried fruit and some blueberries. I got to put our Costco haul away, which really isn't that much. Let me show you guys what I got. Okay, so our tiny haul, um, there's, I have two other things. So we got six items. Lots of butter because I plan on baking a lot. Some more chocolate chips because we're running low. And some protein shakes because I've been having like one in the morning. It almost gets me to my 30 grams of protein. That is my goal within 30 minutes of waking up. And then the other two items that we got are toilet paper and paper towels. Woohoo. So definitely not a big haul, but all of this kind of was stuff that we needed um, to restock on and I didn't want to like buy extra stuff. I'm, I'm trying to do like shelf cooking from now on for at least the time being because it, you know, December is such an expensive month. So I'm really trying to use what we have and hopefully, you know, we won't be wasting too much. I try not to waste that much anyways, but really, really trying to see like what we have and what we can make work. One other thing I forgot to mention is I uh, was notified that I got a product sent to me and I'll be making a TikTok video demonstrating it, but it is like, it's like a device that vacuum seals your mason jars. And I really like this because I don't want to like invest in a bunch of like canning items and have to like boil a bunch of jars. I'm excited to like, just be able to put this on to the jar and have it vacuum seal it without all those extra steps, especially since I'm not planning on like doing a bajillion jars and like vacuum sealing all of them. In that case, maybe, you know, I don't know, maybe it'd be better to get a big pot, but I don't know. I'm excited about this. Picked it up from my mail mailbox. So I'll be making a TikTok video on this soon once I find something to can. <laughs> but now that we are, you know, at home, I need to decompress because that was a like just stressful outing for me. Got to put the butter in the freezer and probably get Jack down for a nap and then I'll check in soon. Hey guys, it is 4.13. It's been a while since I checked in and a lot has happened. So after I got Jack down for a nap, I worked with Aubrey on homework for a while. We are doing homeschooling for kindergarten, although technically I think she would just be in preschool. So I'm like, I'm happy that we're starting early so that we have a little bit of wiggle room, I guess, as far as time goes, if we ever decide to do like public school. But, uh, you know, we did way more pages than we needed to. And, you know, some days she's like, let's just keep working, let's keep doing more work. And uh, other days, you know, we might miss for some reason. So we're ahead of schedule, thankfully. And then after that, she cashed in, she earns treat tickets for each like page of homework she does and, and how well she does it. She might get some more. So she cashed some in for a show. And while she was watching her show, I went ahead and tried to tidy up our kitchen because we had just a huge mess. Lots of dishes needed to be washed, but we already had our dishwasher full. So I first had to empty that out. And then I was just trying to, you know, put as much away as possible 
and really just give the kitchen a good clean. And then once I tidied that up, I uh, wrapped a gift for my niece. I was planning on like wrapping her gift card, like to use cardboard to like make it look like it's something else, like a dustpan or something like that. But then I just figured I'll just put the, you know, the gift card in a big box and maybe that will be misleading enough. Then after that, I decided I would go ahead, even though it's kind of still early, it's like four o'clock right now, like I said, I figured I would make dinner because Jack was taking a nice long nap, which he is since woken up from and Aubrey is playing with him in his room. But for dinner, I thought I would make some like cornbread muffins, but cut up some like little sausages and put them in there. So it's kind of like a, my own version of like a corn dog, but it's like a corn muffin. Um, a corn, corn puppies or something. I don't know. Uh, but I, you know, just whipped that up following the instructions on the box. I think it tastes fine. Um, especially if you eat it with ketchup, Aubrey's not a fan of the muffins. She gave it a try, but she will eat like the little links by themselves. So I saved some of those and heated those up as well. If anything, it'll probably just be me and Juan eating these muffins, but you know, it is what it is. I try something new and Sometimes the kids are just more picky than I'd like, but if they're gonna eat, you know, the ingredients of the meal, but separately, that's fine with me too. But now that I've made those muffins, you know, we'll eat that with like what some fruit that I have prepared in the fridge and we'll see if I need to prep something else. I'm not as good as like providing like a, a like a full meal as I thought I would be. Like, you know, like where you got your veggies and your carbs and your protein and, I'm, I'm not as good at doing that and like you can sorry about the kids in the background but I'm just not as good at doing that as I thought I would be but I'm also like the type of person just just kind of like make an entree and like just have that as like my meal it, it, for leftovers and all this other stuff I don't usually eat it with other things so I don't know I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that but I just feel like I'm not good in that area. But while the kids are playing nicely in Jack's room, I'm gonna prepare uh, some dough ingredients in my bread machine. I'm gonna be making conchas, uh, probably, I don't know if I'm gonna do Oreo ones today and like mix it up, or I'll probably just stick to my standard chocolate chip ones. And I will be entering these in my family's little treat exchange. We're not doing a homemade gift this year, but we are, seeing if anyone's interested in bringing like a homemade treat, whether it be cookies, brownies, cupcakes, in my case, conchas, and we're bringing enough to exchange with the people who are also bringing stuff. So I think I'm like one of seven entries, so I think I'll be making enough so that every entry will get two conchas. And I, you know, I've been making like, I made a batch earlier this week, and I'll probably be making another batch before Christmas to bring to other family members or to share with some of my neighbors or my friends. So this is just like one of many times that I will be making this recipe. But if you want to make it yourself, I have made a recipe video where it doesn't use the bread machine and hopefully you can replicate the chocolate chip conchas for yourself. So that is what I'm gonna start working on now. The dough takes an hour and 40 minutes to be ready to like then prepare into the rolls and all of that. And in that time that the bread machine is doing its thing, I'm gonna try to get these kids fed and let them continue to play. And then Juan will be getting home soon too. So that's what I will be getting done. I will check back in a bit. Shine bright up all night, whenever slow went down. Fall in love, drunk mistakes, we're bound to hit the
Okay guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up today's day in the life here. I finished baking the conchas. Uh, I started a load of laundry, which I'm gonna probably be transferring to the dryer very soon. Right now it's 7.53, so hopefully I'll get to bed. My goal is to get to bed if I want like 10 hours of sleep, which I think my body needs, is to get to bed by 8.15. I don't think that's happening, but if I can get to bed by 9.15, that'll be great. So just gotta finish the laundry there and maybe tidy up a few things. But other than that, my day is done. I gotta get these kids to bed. Um, Juan usually puts Jack to sleep. So I'm hoping that's gonna happen tonight and then I'll probably put Aubrey to bed and maybe watch a little bit of Suits, which if you saw my headphones in throughout the day, that is kind of what I'm like listening to. I had my iPad like up on the counter and I was listening to that, like it makes me feel like I have adults around when I'm just surrounded by kids. So that is one tip to staying sane as a stay at home mom. But I'll probably like finish up whatever episode I was on and then go to bed. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining along. If you are new here, I would love it if you stick around and subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.